there were two mountains with a valley between them. On each mountain there was an army. One side was the Philistines, and the other was the Israelites, which were God's people. A massive soldier walked out of the Philistines' army, whose height exceeded nine feet. His name was Goliath. He wore heavy brass armor over all of his body. His chainmail, not including the rest of his armor, weighed more than 125 pounds. He carried a sword, a shield, and a spear with a tip that weighed over 15 pounds alone. He challenged any of the Israelites to fight him and said, if anyone can defeat him, then the Philistines will be their servants. But if he beat the challenger, then the Israelites would be their servants. Because of Goliath's massive strength and size, all of the Israelite soldiers were terrified and no one fought him. Goliath went out into the valley 40 different days with the same challenge, but there were no challengers. Jesse, who was David's dad, had David tamed to the sheep during the battle, but he asked him to bring food to three of his older brothers that were fighting in the army. David was the youngest and smallest of the seven brothers, but he was faithful to his dad and to God. The next morning, David left the sheep with someone watching and headed to his brothers. David left the carriage with someone else to watch it and took the food to his brothers. When he got there, the armies were fighting. Then Goliath came out and the Israelites ran back to their mountain. This time, David heard what Goliath said and started to ask the soldiers about him. The soldiers told him that King Saul would give the man great riches, his daughter's hand in marriage, and will let the father of the soldier who slew Goliath live free in Israel. When David's brother Elab heard David talking to the soldiers, he got mad at him and called him prideful for coming to the battle and not tending to the sheep. But David told him that he didn't do anything wrong. David then went to Saul and told him not to let any of his men die by Goliath's hand, but instead let him fight the Philistine. The king told David no because he was just a small shepherd boy and Goliath had been a trained warrior ever since he was a child. David then told Saul about how he would tend to his father's sheep and there was a lion that came and stole one of the sheep but David chased after it and grabbed it by its beard and killed it. He also did the same to a bear that tried to take a sheep. He said if God had delivered him out of the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear, then he would deliver him out of the hand of the Goliath. Saul told David to go and fight the Philistine, and the Lord would be with him. The king then began to armor David with his armor, but after he was fully covered, David said that he couldn't use it because it was too big and wasn't meant for him. David took it all off, picked up his staff, grabbed five stones, and placed them inside of his shepherd's bag. David marched down to Goliath, but Goliath acted like it was a joke and started to make fun of him because he was so small and a child. Goliath cursed him with his gods and said that he was going to feed him to the birds and beasts. David was unafraid and told Goliath that he had came to fight with weapons, while David had came to fight with God on his side. He said, This day the Lord will deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee, and take thine head from thee that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Goliath got angry and started to run at David, and David ran back at him. David took a stone out of his bag and placed it into a sling. He slung the stone around and released it, sending it flying into the forehead of Goliath. The stone sunk into Goliath's head, and he fell down onto his face. David stood on top of his body and pulled out Goliath's sword. He pulled it up and cut off his head. The Israelites saw what had happened and started to chase the Philistines that were fleeing because their champion had just been defeated. All the Israelites cheered and shouted because David had saved them. Thanks for watching, and God bless you.